Let me introduce you to Aitana. She's an influencer based in Spain who generates more than $10,000 a month in revenue and racked up more than 300,000 followers on Instagram. She's a fitness lover and a gamer at heart, but here's the catch. She doesn't actually exist. That's right, she was fully built with AI. So today I'm gonna teach you how to build one of these influencers from scratch, get views and generate revenue. And for those of you who know me, you guessed it, I'm only doing this to teach you the cutting edge tools that were used to build this. So now let's jump in with the first step. Okay, so the first step in this process is to create the base model or the identity of this AI influencer. So I'm gonna call mine Chloe and she's from Paris. And now we're gonna jump into AI image generators to be able to create this actual person. So I need to choose the most photorealistic image generators. And so for this, I'm gonna be using Midjourney. Now Midjourney costs 10 bucks a month or $8 if you're paying annually but in fact at the end of today or maybe this week you'll have all the images you need from Midjourney, and so you can unsubscribe if you'd like but of course i'll also include some free ai generators like c art or leonardo where you get some free credits okay so let's jump in if you go to Midjourney, you're going to be able to join the beta in my case i just have to sign in because i already have an account Midjourney basically works through discord which is free uh, to download so here i go to discord you can basically open up your discord in my case um, i already have it downloaded as a desktop app, but you can also open it up in the desktop. Now, once you're inside Midjourney in Discord, you're gonna see that there is a getting started tab over here and click on that. And then you can start your membership here. Now to organize myself with this AI influencer, I'm gonna create a separate server just for this influencer. And then I'm gonna bring Midjourney inside of it through the Midjourney AI bot. So I go right below here. I just add a server. I'm gonna create my own server. I'm gonna call, it's just for me and my friends. I'm gonna call it Chloe AI. I'm going to not give an image image here. I'm just going to create it. And then I'm immediately going to go back into mid journey. And then I'm going to come here to the top right. I'm going to click on show members list. And I'm going to look for mid journey bot right here. So you can just type in mid journey bot and you should be able to find it in my case here. I already have it underneath here. Mid journey bot. Boom. I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to add to app and it's going to allow me to add this bot to the server that I created called Chloe AI. Boom right here. So I'm going to continue with that. And that's now going to allow me to I'm going to go down and authorize and it's then going to direct you back to that channel. So let's jump in. Now to create this AI influencer, what I'm going to do is simply just get some inspiration from the internet. And I'm already going to search for an existing model. And then I'm going to have it create a similar version to that existing model. So if I go to the internet, I can just type in the name of any model. In this case, I'm going to type in Emily Rata. Yeah, exactly. This is an American model and actress. Excellent. I'm just going to go to the images. I'm going to grab an image that I like. Let's just use this first one over here. Boom. I'm going to save this. And here's where the the magic starts happening. I'm going to come here back to my server and I'm just going to click forward slash and then I'm going to have describe. So what describe is going to do is that it's going to allow me to find the prompt behind this specific image. So it's going to then ask what's the image? I'm going to upload this image of uh, Emily that I have here and it's essentially going to if I just press enter enter what we're going to see here is that it's going to find the prompts behind this and just like that I have several different prompts that describe this. So I'm actually just going to use those prompts and have it imagine. So imagine means that you're creating and generating original AI images. So if I create imagine all, it's going to do that for these four different prompts. This is happening all in real time. And it's actually creating AI avatars that kind of fit this same prompt. And you can now see these images turn from alien into actual humans, which is pretty fascinating if you ask me. And boom, just like that, we have several different images to choose from. So let's just open these up. Here's the first set of images it's created. And so at this point, you can pretty much endlessly create these AI images, but I'm going to actually select one here. And that's going to be my base model. So really, I want to create the identity around this individual. So let me just choose one now. I think I'm going to go for this one down here because it looks like very photorealistic and you can see the entire face. It doesn't have too much makeup. And I kind of like that as a base model. So let's go ahead and just download this image. So I'm just going to click on U3 because she's the third in the order here. And just like that, my friends, let me introduce you to Chloe La Parisienne. But of course, just having one image of this individual is not going to be enough for an Instagram account where we need hundreds of pictures potentially. So step two here is going to be to generate additional images in different sceneries so that we can actually create kind of a life behind this character. And there are three different ways that we can do this. And then we're going to be able to do something that will completely blow your mind. So the first way is to simply grab the prompt that we have here for this individual and simply just change a little bit what we are saying in this prompt. So then we could just click back on imagine and we could just um, click on this. It's gonna ask for the prompt. I can just grab that prompt. And here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly adapt the prompt. So here, instead of being at the Gucci show, I could put that she is at the beach. 
uh, long dong break hair. I could change what she's wearing from a white dress to let's say a um, bikini. Natural makeup, uh, looking into camera, beach background, and let's see what happens if I just trigger that. So now I can select my favorite one here. In this case, I'm gonna be choosing, let's say this one, uh, U3, grab that, download it. Now if I want to go a bit quicker and not do these one by one, I could also open up a free AI image generator called cart.ai. So here I could just come in and I could grab some of the details about this person. So basically this person with straight hair, let's say brown hair, dark brown hair, put that like basic prompt, dark brown hair. So it doesn't have to be too, too specific and it's gonna give me different images and different scenarios. So here, for example, I like this one. I could uh, use this one. This is one of her in Paris, which is great. So I could simply just come here and download it. So at this point, I'm just gonna source a bunch of additional images. And so now the goal is to get those images to look like Chloe. And so this is step three and I'm gonna be using Face Insight for this. So you can go underneath in the description and you can click on the link up to the GitHub. So when you click on that link, you're gonna scroll down all the way where it says step-by-step -step instructions and you're basically going to to simply go to the invite insight face swap here on discord i'm gonna click on that it's gonna open up this bot called insight face and i'm gonna choose to add it to chloe ai the same server where we put the mid journey bot let's click on continue authorize and then it's going to direct me back towards my uh server so we'll go there okay so here i'm just going to click on forward slash save id and it's basically going to ask me for an image so here i want to put the base image of chloe what she actually looks like so i'm going to go ahead and find that image let's see where we have it is this it yes it is i'm going to just import that and then i need to create an id name so i'm going to just put chloe and i'm going to press enter and just like that it's going to start actually so now it's saved this id name called chloe and remember that for these images it's best to be in png or jpeg format and now comes the impressive part i'm going to click forward slash swap id and it's basically going to ask me to um you know identify the picture i want to swap so here i'm going to use the first picture that i actually have so let's say this one for example and i'm going to put the id whose id do i want i want it to have chloe's id so i'm going to enter there and boom just like that this model now has chloe's face as you can see here so again forward slash swap id and then i'm going to click on that enter it's going to ask me the idea id so here it's chloe chloe is the id of the person that i'm trying to uh, put in and then where is the image i'm going to go ahead and grab the image let's see i have this image somewhere here let me see where it is boom and then we just press enter and boom just like that it has switched the face of the original picture which was this one and it is added now chloe's face which is right here and as you can see it looks pretty good like this is a very hyper realistic image so now i'm going to be doing this with all of the pictures that I've selected for Chloe's Instagram profile. But before that, if you want to learn how to build things with no code and AI, then sign up for our free newsletter below in the description that's going to give you each week a weekly dose of AI tools, no code tools to build businesses or maybe AI influencers like this. What do you say, Chloe? Yeah, definitely subscribe to the channel. And now for this next part, what is a great influencer if we don't have video of this influencer? So now let's go ahead and create photorealistic videos of Chloe in action. So the first thing that we need here is an actual video that's of a person similar to Chloe. So you could actually record this from scratch. So have some one of your friends who might look a little bit like Chloe record a video, or you could actually just go ahead and source one and then select one of those. And then we're going to turn that video into a video of Chloe. And here's the video that I chose. As you see, quite similar features, kind of wavy, straight hair, uh, brunette, dark uh, brown hair. And to turn this into Chloe, I'm gonna use a tool called A Cool. Now you can have free credits here if you wanna get started. So you can sign up and use those free credits. Um, there's also free tools out there that are a little bit more complicated to use, but I would recommend just kicking it off with this if you wanna get started quickly. So I'm gonna jump in here, I'm gonna log in. I'm then going to choose the file. Now it's gonna ask me which file I want to convert into Chloe. So I'm gonna select the video that I just showed you now. It's gonna take a little moment for it to load and it's analyzing that specific video. And now what I'm gonna do is upload these source video of Chloe's picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Chloe's source picture. There we go. I'm gonna select it for each one of these spots. So here, I just click on that. I'm gonna put Chloe for this one. I'm gonna put Chloe for this one. I'm gonna put, guess what? Chloe again, let's go. And now I can basically just have it create this face swap. Now it's gonna take just a couple minutes to load and it's gonna notify you by email uh, because you've already signed in at this point. And once it's finished loading, go and actually check it out. And this, my friends, is the actual video with Chloe's face on it. It's a deep fake that was created with a cool and as you see it looks pretty darn good and that my friends is your first instagram video for your fake ai influencer but now let's check out these videos side by side <laughs> Thank you.
So now we have all the pictures and video of this influencer. Let's go to Instagram, create an account, which is step five. So here, pretty straightforward. You create a new Instagram account. Then you can go to pretty much any influencer and you know check out what their description and bio looks like. Copy it, ask ChatGPT to create a new version of it. Upload the source image as your profile picture, which is gonna be Chloe in this case, that source image. And then we're gonna go to Instagram and schedule all of these pictures and videos so that they post automatically. So you could literally create them once and you could just have hundreds of videos that are posting every single day to this account. So then you can go to Instagram scheduler and you can just schedule all of these posts to release over the next three months, maybe once every two days. And a pro tip, if you want to create captions for each one of these posts, then you could simply do the following. You go to ChatGPT, you basically go to this little icon here and upload images. So you select the images of the specific posts that you're going to um, release. You can upload several at the same time and then you can just grab a prompt that I've created right below here and so I'm asking it to act like a social media professional and to create prompts for the images that I'm going to create specifically focused on Instagram and then I can grab these captions and schedule them with the scheduled post and just like that you schedule them once and they'll just post for the next several months without you having to do anything now this is all great stuff for now but how do you actually monetize this AI influencer well this is what we're going to talk about in this next step so basically once you start getting views and you start getting followers you will have people start sending you messages asking you if they can sponsor some of your content. And the way to do this if you're an AI influencer is as follows. Let's say that, for example, you had a hotel. Well, you would have your AI influencer in one of their hotel rooms and tag that hotel. If it was clothing, you might have your AI influencers wear it. And if it was a product, you could have them holding it in a picture. All of which you could charge anything from a couple hundred dollars to tens of thousands of dollars, depending on how popular your influencer is. Now for this next part is affiliate revenue. You could add links that people could click on. And if they buy that specific product or service, then you would get a kickback commission. That could be anywhere from a couple percent to 50% of that specific product. And that, my friends, is how you build and monetize an AI influencer. However, you most likely will have to direct people towards a website and because most people don't know how to code. I would highly recommend that you check out this video where I'm going to teach you how to build a $10,000 website with AI tools and no code.